Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday. You guys all know what the big topic is right now in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is the Icon SBCs and the plethora of Icon SBCs, the prime Icon SBCs that we got yesterday. So I'm going to talk about this today. I'm not going to sit, sit here and talk about uh, how I feel like these SBCs were wrongfully put out, how I feel about these cards not being the Icon Moments SBCs. I don't want to focus on, on all that and get all negative and everything like that. Um, we all have had our time to be negative and to have our time to think about these and talk about these and express how we feel. I'm going to move on and we're going to talk about what happened on the market today because regardless of whether we're a fan of these or not, uh, the market is moving and hopefully um, we can just find some positivity in that and not have to be too, too worried about uh, the SBCs that we got in the store. But just my really quick, my thoughts on that. I am disappointed. I was really hoping uh, to use some of these prime icon moments players in my team at the end of the year. I'm sure a lot of you guys were too. Um, but unfortunately, uh, we are just at a point now uh, in the game where they feel like they can't release the SBCs. Um, but... We got the prime versions of a lot of those cards today, of the top, top tier cards, um, which I think was Eusebio, Vieira, Hullet, uh, Ronaldinho, and Ronaldo. So basically, this is the second Friday in a row now that they have just dropped a massive bomb of SBCs on us, like six icons each Friday uh, that they have just dropped on us here and into the game, which is honestly... Uh, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't I don't think any of us would have ever expected this is how the way that they would have dropped the icon SBCs. Now there's plenty of icon SBCs that that still could come out um, or that haven't got SBCs yet. Whether they're moments cards, whether they are other primes, um, but they said that they're done for the year for icon SBCs after dropping this big bomb today. So that makes me think that they just wanted to get them all out there, get them all out of the way. And hopefully they have some good content coming for us because uh, that leaves a big hole for the rest of the year um, since those icons are not going to be coming out. But we need to take a look at the market and what happened today because based on what I'm seeing right here, I can tell you guys two things. A, regardless of how expensive these SBCs are, and we're going to look in a second, they're very expensive, people are doing them. People are doing this SBC, people are doing the Player of the Month Mane SBC, and I don't even want to go look and see what the cheapest players by rating are. We're going to go do it anyway. I have not looked at this all day. And of course, they are just through the roof. 86s are at 27, 28k. 87s are at 35k. 88s are at almost at 50. 89s, you know what? This is what I want to see. How much are some of those 90 rated cards? How much is Luka Modric? How much is Luka Modric is a 91 rated? I bet this card's like, oh my goodness. 100K? Is he 100K? He's over 100K. Wow. That is crazy ridiculous. They have really, really gone and done it with these SBCs, man. Oh, we got a sale. What's the sale? Nice. Another Di Maria. Dude, I'm controlling this Di Maria market. I love flipping this card. I absolutely love flipping this Di Maria card. Side note, anyway. But back to this. The high rated goals are just so freaking high and it's because of everybody seeing these SBCs. Um, and if you're a casual today uh, or yesterday and you see these SBCs come out, you're like, man, this is sick. I'm gonna go complete this SBC uh, because it's something that I've wanted to do all year. Okay, we're not gonna get the Prime Icon Moments version, but I've wanted to get Eusebio all year. I've wanted to get a Hullet SBC. I've wanted to get a R9, R10. Vieira, whatever, whoever it was, a lot of people have been basing their entire foot clubs on knowing that these SBCs were going to come out because it happened last year, so it's going to happen this year, right? Well, it happened, and they are very, very, very expensive. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, 5.51 million coins for his SBC. Let's go take a gander on the market. What is R9 Ronaldo, the prime version, 96 rated? 5.15 million coins. It's 400k cheaper to buy the card yourself than it is to actually do the SBC. And I think this is, again, why a lot of people are mad, just because the SBC price is actually more expensive than some of these cards are on the market. What is Hullet? Hullet's 4.2 million. His prime card has been under 4 million multiple times this year. What is Ronaldinho? 
2.85, that's about even with his card's price. Patrick Vieira, 2.43, his prime card is like 2.2. Eusebio, 3.04, his card, I missed one today on a snipe for 2.56. So it, it's really ridiculous how people feel like they have to sell their tradable version of the card to go do the SBC just because you're getting packs back? Is that really why people are doing that? Just because you're getting packs back in a, in a portion or a time of FIFA where there are no special cards in packs, um, it's just all we're all people are doing right now is SBCs. If you if you look at all the content that's been released lately, it has not been pack based. It's been SBC based, and basically this is again just one way how EA can suck a lot of coins uh, before um, before team of the season comes in the next couple of weeks. And with all these SBCs coming out, it really makes me feel like we're going to see team of the season in the next two weeks. Uh, or so uh, just it kind of makes sense. I don't know why I can't click on any of these SBCs Right now, which is unfortunate because uh, I want to go into the Mane SBC We'll back out and come back in but let's take a look at this Mane SBC because actually this SBC isn't too bad If you're a Liverpool fan if you're somebody who wants to do uh, wants to card collect the Liverpool players um, This SBC honestly isn't too terribly bad uh, it's just coming at kind of a poor time, to be honest with you, because if you look at this uh, SBC price, two, what is it, 380,000 coins. If we at some point get a decrease in the price of a lot of these 88s, 87s, 86s, if these 86s go back down to 20k, which it's it's not going to be for a while because now we have all these icon SBCs that are just slowly but surely increasing demand on the market for these cards. Um, this SBC would be decently cheap. How long is it out for? We're going to switch back to the real screen here since I'm back in. Hopefully I can click in on the SBC. 13 days, so two weeks to do this Mane SBC. That could be exactly when Team of the Season starts. Uh, that could be exactly when Team of the Season starts. Just a hunch. Not really sure if it's possible or not. Not sure if that's what they're planning on doing. But that could be when it happens. I will. This. I bet this SBC will be gone before Player of the Month starts. But if you're a if you're a Liverpool fan and you want a card like this, he's probably going to get a Team of the Season. It's going to be higher rated than this card. But this is a card that if you can play with him, if you really just really 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 want to do him, you can get him done for maybe around 300k. Um, it is a decent value of a card. It's just kind of poor timing because we're coming into a tots in the next two to three weeks where. He might get a team of the season that's 93, 94 rated, and it's going to blow those stats out of the water, and you're going to be sitting here paying 300k for this Mane SBC when his actual card team of the season on the market will be around the same price. Um, you're going to be a little bit disappointed because you already have that version of him. But regardless, that is not a terrible, terrible uh, price uh, based on just uh, the value for the card and the card that you are getting so it's not terrible so I can see why a lot of people want to do that um, but it's just kind of poor timing one other thing that I want to look at and this is kind of just like another market talk market recap video we got to talk about a lot of things we got to talk about some freaking scream cards dudes there were a lot of people I said yesterday in my video I looked at scream Rafinha at 33k and I was like yo you got to get rid of him and look where he is now. He didn't get the boost that people thought or people wanted him to. And now he's right back down to 13,000 coins where he was at 30K last night. So that's kind of a, that's another reason why we, we do a lot of what we do in this game is, and that is sell into the hype. Now, a few of these cards actually got sick boosts and a, I do want to focus on some of those cards. The first one being Busquets. Now, a lot of people are all over this card and rightfully so. I mean, where do you play him? You can play him almost anywhere. Aside from jumping and heading, you could play him at striker. He has 99 finishing. His long passing isn't the greatest. Agility and balance is not the best. But, I mean, 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill, 6 foot 2. This card is just ridiculous. It's like it just breaks the game. Um, I'm interested, interested to see. I know this card has had a 99 pace boost before, but 99 pace and 99 shooting... Now that is something very interesting. So I think a lot of people are, are hyped up on this card. And I'm sure there's people out there that made a lot of coins on screen cards today. But a lot of the ones that people wanted to get upgraded, I would have loved to see this Chuanulu card get the 99 pace. But that obviously didn't happen. Uh, so I think a lot more people lost coins today than they made coins on these screen cards. 
um, based on what they had. Now, obviously, this Diego Costa went from 160k to max price at 320k on Xbox, and he's extinct on PS. Rightfully so. 99 pace, 99 shooting. He's got some pretty nutty stats, along along with his strength and aggression that are already very high. So I understand why people are all are all over some of these cards, but a lot of them just uh, I don't know. Screen promo was honestly pretty dead this year. They got upgraded what three times, four times. Uh, so it was just kind of an average promo uh, throughout throughout this year. So heading into this next week, I want to do I do want to talk about a few things. Uh, I do think we're going to have a little bit of a, another market sell off, and that's one thing that I want to focus on this week is maybe getting in on some informs a little bit earlier than before. Now I'm just going off of some random informs right now. This there's no uh, special reason why I'm looking at Robertson. He just came to mind right away. I think some of the buy time for these informs for Thursday flips is going to be early in the week. The past two weeks, what we have seen is the cheapest price point for a lot of these cards actually is during the weekend league sell-off. Now, it used to be um, things would go low on, on, on Saturday night and on Sunday night, but then they would also go low and almost even lower on uh, Wednesday night right before the weekend league or the weekend league rewards and the division rivals rewards would drop uh, like Thursday morning UK time, but that's kind of not the case anymore. Since we don't have a lot of promos going on, people are trying cards, people are holding their teams, so the lowest prices are actually happening when most people are selling, which is at the end of the weekend league. And I think you're going to see a lot of that again this weekend, as a lot of the casuals finish off their teams. Uh, or finish off their games, they're going to sell, they're going to get their coins, and they're going to go do SBCs, they're going to overpay for these gold cards. It honestly makes me sick looking over here at these gold card prices and just thinking there, knowing that people are out here paying 28 k for a Douglas Costa to put into their Rude Hullet SBC, that just sickens me, man. That honestly just sickens me. So uh, if you're looking to get on some flips this week, uh, definitely look into some of these cards. I don't know that it's a good thing to maybe try to invest uh, into the Icon SBC links. I don't think about. I don't think that's a really good idea. But look in the panic as always this week. We're gonna have more Champions League games, so if, I think these cards are almost kind of a little bit getting forgotten about. Uh, they're good for for Wednesday flips, but the Sterling card. This is one that kind of interests me. If I see this get panic sold back down to the lower edge of 500k, maybe like the 520s. Uh, this would be a card that I would consider picking up considering he was over he was right around 600k uh, right before the game and I know that they're um, behind Spurs on aggregate but to be honest with you it's Manchester City they're a powerful team they're gonna be at home um, and I honestly as a Spurs fan I would not be surprised if they pull this out I'm gonna probably buy a couple sterlings and sell during the game I would definitely see uh, City getting an early goal um, and maybe tying the game up in that fashion that would rise this card a lot in the hype um, i don't know about the young player of the year and player of the year stuff nominee wise i don't know if that is this weekend or if it's later down the road but that is coming up soon so that would kind of mess with this investment as well because this card would obviously be getting a player of the year or young player of the year version and i don't want to mess with that too much uh, i just and i like this card right now because it's his best version you could look at aguero as well for the same situation uh, just being the fact that they are down to Spurs, but they're going to be playing at home. We've already seen some fantastic comebacks, um, and this card's going to be nutty if the if the City team can pull off the win against Spurs in the second round. So there's some of that stuff to watch as well. Uh, if you want to do some investing with this week in mind uh, later in this weekend for a weekend league sell-off, but other than that, scroll through the Team of the Weeks, look at the foot birthday cards. They're getting a lot more rare um, they rose up in price this weekend just because of rarity. A lot of these Carnival cards are also very rare. Um, I actually want to look at Yoris because we got new Man of the Match cards that just came out. But this Yoris card is still better than his Champions League Man of the Match, which is about 160,000 coins. We'll look at the new Man of the Match cards really quick to, to finish off the video uh, and talk about those here in just a second and look at this. So we have Laporte. Now this one kind of interests me a little bit. Uh, 70 pace. He got that 70 pace and he's a center back, which is where a light, he would play better with his card stats. And he's actually extinct? Are you serious? He is extinct right now. 
on the Xbox. We're gonna go Laporte, we're gonna go center back, and we're gonna go minimum buy now of 100K. The man is extinct. The man is extinct, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so people must have some demand for this card, which is interesting to me. Um, this is a perfect link to that left back uh, SBC version of Carnival uh, Mendy, I think it was. So maybe there's some links there that people are using. Decent card with the stats, uh, but obviously it's not anything too super spectacular, but it's going to get people's attention. Uh, this one actually interests me almost the most out of this entire set. This De Young card. I know he has the FFS SBC, which a lot of people have this card, but this is now his best overall version. Kind of adding some hype to the Ajax, uh, how they're playing right now. They have a left back Tagliafico, and obviously the Delict has some special cards in the game. So I bet people could kind of create a triangle with that. And then as well as they'll flay you. And this card at 70k is definitely going to be uh, extinct. Wow, he is not extinct? This is a pretty pretty BA card, in my opinion. That is a pretty nice card. A lot of people will use him. Uh, let's actually check him on the market right now. Dolfleu. Um, he is a center attacking mid in the Prem, which is interesting to me, and I kind of like that. I don't think... If I see this card, uh, because it is rare, because it is an orange Fanta version, if I do see this card maybe hit like 50k while his time is happening in packs, I will be very tempted uh, to buy a few of this card because he's Spanish, he gets good links, he's Premier League, uh, and he's got some good stats. He has, I think, four-star skills, four-star weak foot, and he does high-low work rates. He's got 99 agility, which is pretty nice, uh, and he's got the pace and decent passing, so he's going to feel good on the ball. So this is a very nice, cheap Premier League center attacking mid that people can, can try in their teams, uh, and of course, people like to try cards in their teams, especially right now, time period of FIFA with not a ton going on. Nabi Keita's card doesn't interest me too much. Uh, Yoris, a little bit. Uh, Goncalo Guedes, not too much. Other than that, out of the set of Man of the Matches, the cards that interest me the most would definitely be Dolfleu, Laporte, and Yoris. Um, Aaron Ramsey, no thanks. He just got that nice SBC people had to pay a lot for. Um, I'm sure some people will like this card, but uh, for me, it's all about those uh, other Premier League guys. And uh, it's all about the Icon SBCs. That is going to be the story of this weekend. Um, keep keep your heads up, honestly, guys. Don't be don't just hang your heads on this and get too much down and don't get too depressed about this. Stay as positive as you can uh, because if you're going to be negative about it, that's just not going to help the entire situation. So hopefully we find out a few more uh, details about this. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any more of the Prime Icon Moments SBCs or any other Prime Icons uh, regardless. So um, that also makes it interesting for some Icon traders and the value of those Icon Moments cards on the market. But uh, after all that, I am just ready for Team of the Season. That's why you see me trading. I am. I do have the, a lot of motivation to trade right now actually because you're going to see right now that I am very close. 56306. Uh, and the top 100 is 56, 737. So I am almost into the top 100. That has been uh, one of my goals. After I hit 50 million, uh, it's been one of my goals to get into the top 100 and, and to, to move up in that area. So I'm getting close and pretty pumped about that. I'm going to keep trading this weekend. I'm going to have more time in my hands as well to be, to be able to trade and to do that kind of stuff. I'm actually going to maybe play the game a little bit too. I have not been able to do that too much. Uh, as well, but hopefully team of the season comes soon. I'm excited for that um, and I think that's gonna just give us a whole new kind of uh, Set of content to be pumped about to be on fire about so hopefully we see uh, That kind of stuff soon, but keep your heads up and uh, you know if you're making bank on UCL cards or whatever it is in foot uh, Stay positive keep trading keep having fun. I'm gonna keep uh, bringing the hype and bringing the uploads in this channel talking about market um, and and whatever else so um, we'll have a good time doing that. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or insights on the Icon SBCs. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.